Civil War Americans in the moment were asking, right, what if Lincoln had lived and what, you know, Southerners and Northerners alike, many Southerners wondering if Lincoln was perhaps the best friend they ever had and that this might have spared them um, the more punitive uh, turn of, of Reconstruction um, uh, after Andrew Johnson and the, and the radicals come to, to power. Uh, but Northerners, of course, were asking this question too. Um, one thing I think it helps you to see is to, to distinguish, right, um, uh, the limits of possible in Reconstruction, right? We don't conclude the essay by saying if Lincoln had lived, Reconstruction would have been rosy and everything would have been resolved. What we, we are able to say, right, is that um, Lincoln already was facing a number of battles within his own party uh, in 1864 over the plans for Reconstruction. Remember the Wade Davis bill, remember the pocket veto of that legislation, remember the 10% plan. Lincoln was going to do battle with Ben Wade and the radicals um, if he lived and that, that would have roiled Reconstruction for sure. The other thing to keep in mind, it, it really helps you in, in stepping back to think about what were the major differences between Lincoln and Johnson. And of course, those differences in, in our essay, we conclude that those come down to Lincoln's capacity for growth over the course of, of the war, right? Someone who was, by the end of his life, advocating publicly for at least a limited black suffrage. And somebody like Andrew Johnson, uh, the tailor from East Tennessee, who was virulently racist and unable to imagine really a biracial democracy. So uh, yes, certainly things on that score would have been different, uh, but would Lincoln have uh, somehow waved the magic wand and avoided all of the, um, the boondoggles of early Reconstruction? I, I think not. Um, so it helps you to think through those, those issues to clarify what was really possible in that particular moment.